today, Bishop Maurice Muhatia Makumba attended the groundbreaking ceremony for the proposed Dekima University in Molo, Nakuru County. This actually is his last official assignment as the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru because he has been appointed as the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Kisumu and he will be leaving tomorrow morning. The university is a project of the Jesuit society. This is a Roman Catholic religious order, which is also known as the Society of Jesus. The Jesuits are best known for their prominent role in education, theology, missionary work and publishing, with a strong emphasis on social justice and human rights. They run many prestigious secondary schools and universities around the world and publish leading intellectual journals. The Jesuit Society was formed in April 1541. The groundbreaking ceremony was attended by church leaders, priests, leaders from the county government of Nakuru, and Christians as well. Among them was President Uhuru Kenyatta's sister, Christina Wambui Pratt. They later proceeded to unveil the residence of the Jesuits. The house of soil with no foundation. As soon as the river bore down on it, it collapsed and what a ruin that house became. Brothers and sisters, let us ask God our powerful Father that the work we begin today will contribute to the building up of his kingdom and join us in faith and love to Christ, who is the cornerstone. Blessed be God forever. Respond. Lord God, you have given us the knowledge and power to become your co-workers. Let us bless him. Blessed be God forever. Through your Son, you have chosen to build your church upon solid rock. Let us bless the Lord. Blessed be God forever. Through the spirit of your son, you form us into a spiritual house where you make your dwelling place. Let us bless the Lord. You inspire in all the firm hope that the building we begin today with your blessing will be brought to completion with your protection. Let us bless the Lord, all powerful and merciful Father. You have created all things through your Son, and have made him the unshakable foundation of your kingdom. Through the gift of your eternal wisdom, grant that the undertaking we begin today, for your glory and our own well-being, may progress day by day to its successful completion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Shelly. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kwaya. Thank you, my Lord Bishop, and thank you, Your Grace, for blessing this talk. And now everyone else, so the ground on which you are seated or standing is the holy ground. To keep here my coffee. Thank you so much. And with that, we also have the right to uh, erect the, the, the community now. Uh, the stone is blessed. We have been given the blessings. The next. <laughs> Na ashukuru sana kukweza kifika mbuzi wetu mbote hapa. Watu wa eneo la molo. Unafamu jinzi mnazo wapenda. Ojeni wetu kutoka Nairobi na mahala pegida pote. Na shirika la wajizuiti. Asateni sana wote kwa siku ya leo. Mungu awabariki mbuweza. Kwa kisiku wapenda unyependa kuchukua na fasi hii. Washukuru ili wote. Watu wanakuwa. Kwa wakati ambao tumekuwa na nini. Sasa ni miaka kumina mbili. Tumekuwa katika jimbo katoliki na nakuru. Katika kushirike na kikazi, kufanya kazi za maendeleo, kubili jiri, na kutangamana kwa jia tofauti tofauti. Asanteni sana washukuru. Sana, sana. Mbile nisema na faria kwamba, maali ambapo niliingia katika jibwa na nakuru, ndipo ambapo nakamilishia kwenzangu za kishibaji katika jibwa na nakuru. Nuhuyo ni mkuja na parani na mwashi. Leo, In his speech, Bishop Muhate referred Molo as a place that is very special to him because when he was appointed Bishop of Nakuru, he was received at Molo in total. And so his first official role as the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru began at Molo, which was his entry point to the diocese. Coincidentally today, he discharges his final official duties as the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru in Molo. And he's so glad about that.